There's his prey. Up ahead on the right, the 179 Jaguar, which is Nigel Greensall, no mean pilot. And Huff with that next fastest lap, a 130, a 135. Did a 30 last time round uh, within a couple of three tenths of that. So uh, Huffy's got plenty to spare. He's now right on the boot lid of the uh, of the drop head Jagger. But the question is, are they going to run out of time? He's certainly on him and he's reeled him in as Marcus has been putting oh. out. They get a touch oh, the and he lifts the bonnet up. and he lifts oh, the bonnet no, and he can't no. see. And the bonnet's uh, come back down again. Well, it was lifting earlier, a couple of laps ago through that corner on the right-hand side, but it was just enough of a tap as they touched on the way into St Mary's, now down towards Lavant. Fire spitting from the rear of the Green Saul Jaguar in front of Huff. It's that He's got great the they're going to touch. I thought they were going to get pincered there, and the White Jag's got a bit sideways. That's Green Saul now. It's uh, all about whether Huff can brave it out on the outside here at the kink. He's going to try, but there's not room. He goes the other side, and he tries to... Oh, the boot comes up for a moment. That's uh, in its own way. Goodness the grass, me. The bonnet's come up again. And we can't see where we've got to go. And he aims and he fires, and Greensaw goes wide. And Huff takes the third staggering. position away. Staggering, because a second earlier, he couldn't even see walk, the racetrack in front of him. on the blind side. That was absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> and Rob Huff is going to get <laughs> third place, isn't he?